Today is my first video ever addressing some of the black grifters and the awful people in the finance space that specifically market their services towards black people. Uh, I've been watching them for a long time, but I've never covered them. And one of the main reasons why is because I just don't watch their content. You know, Earn Your Leisure's content has never really been appealing to me. I, I can't get over the fact that they have this weirdo named Ian Dunlap who is extremely arrogant, calls himself the master investor, even though he never shows the returns, says he's the greatest investor who ever lived charges ten thousand dollars for his little red panda garbage course which there's so many reports that i've gotten from people messaging me saying that he's barely even active in there he treats his people like crap and what you are looking at is unfortunately something that i see happen to a lot of black people when they get a little bit of fame or notoriety or they start to be embraced by celebrities they turn into a completely different people and they they, they all of a sudden deviate from the original message and purpose of what their platform was all about and it's very sad to see. So let's just go ahead and get right into it. So Earn Your Leisure, um, they are under this huge scandal right now. They're under fire because they've had a bunch of different clowns on their platform who nobody had never even heard of until they gave them a platform. You know, there's all these different people. And one of the people was the DJ Envy and his partner, Caesar, right? And the problem with these people is... DJ Envy and Caesar are under massive fire for basically allegedly scamming people out of millions of dollars, which honestly wouldn't surprise me because you guys know what we do on this channel. I have been exposing grifters on this channel for two years. This is nothing new to me. I know a scammer when I see one. I know a grifter when I see one. All of these guys are clowns. Like these allegations don't surprise me. Because one thing that I know about the finance space, which is why I do the work that I do, most of the people in the finance space are grifters. Some of the biggest criminals and crooks and liars and thieves and scammers exist in the finance community. And that's why we need more people like myself and others, shout out to the others who are doing the great work, to call these people out. So let's just go ahead and go over Earn Your Leisure, okay? And shout out to my boy, uh, Mark, with uh, Uncultured Currency. Uh, he sent me the video because Earn Your Leisure deleted the video after like, 10 minutes after like the first 10 minutes of release it was pretty crazy so earn your leisure released a video that said message to the scammers and the reason why they made it is because they were feeling the pressure uh most of the people that they've had on their channel turned out to be complete frauds and scammers and now with this whole dj envy and caesar mess blowing up they're like okay we have to make a video which is so funny because they made the video talking about a message to the scammers while having one on their platform what do you think ian dunlap is are you joking right now are you serious i've gotten so many emails about that guy about these tickets this madison square garden situation i've gotten so many emails about and, and messages from people about him like like overcharging people for for red panda and not delivering on what he what he promised basically Ian Dunlap is very much known for this. He is known for talking a big game, promising people certain things, and never, ever delivering on it. And once again, you got a guy here who doesn't even show his returns. He won't even show you his returns. You have no idea how well this dude is doing. You have no idea how much money he has. I mean, honestly, money doesn't matter because he's probably making it from Red Pan and whatever other affiliate links he's got with Earn Your Leisure and the business deals and all that. He probably has money from that. But in terms of an actual investor... How arrogant and cocky of a human being do you have to be to say that you are the greatest investor who ever lived when Peter Thiel is still alive, when Warren Buffett is still alive, when, you know, there's there's a bunch of other like amazing investors. It's just it's just absolutely insane. So anyway, I wanted to make fun of this part right here. So if you look at their channel and this is why I told you guys, earn your leisure is not in it for the money. They're in it for the views. They don't actually care about you or helping you make money or hoping you achieve financial freedom, or or helping you become a better investor, anything like that. They are strictly in it for views and money. That's all they care about. And it should be very easy for you to see. Why? Well, if you look at their highest viewed videos, okay, they've got this little Steve Harvey interview. Shout out to him. I like Steve Harvey, actually. But then they've got all this weird, pseudo, alien, spooky, space cowboy, idiosyncrasy, dark, magician, weird secret in the uh, mountains and all the, the Ozarks. They got this weird stuff, this spooky crap. They got Billy Carson, I think that's his name, and 19 Keys. Who the heck are they? <laughs> what the fuck? I mean, I know who 19 Keys is, but like, 
He's one of those people where I'm just like, what does that guy even do? What does this have to do with finance? What does ancient civilizations and multiple dimensions and aliens and time have to do with finance? Oh, I know. It got 5.7 million views. So you decide to put it on the channel because it gets views. Look at this. Secrets of the soul and cosmos. God systems, blood ties. I just want to make it very clear, guys. There was a time, because this is where 19 Keys blew up. 19 Keys blew up on social media around the same time that all these other pseudo woke conscious brothers did. Like, Dr. Umar blew up in, like, 2015, 2016. 19 Keys was in that boat. Uh, there was a guy named Brother Polite in there. Uh, there was this YouTube channel called Sonetta TV that was getting a lot of views. Uh, I can't remember everybody else. Uh, Young Pharaoh. There was all these woke people, all these pseudo people. And 19 Keys was in that little batch. And I guess now he's made his way to the finance committee. Somehow he's with with Earn Your Leisure. I don't understand it. If you look at this video right here, unlock your third eye chakras and crystal consciousness. I mean, look, if people want to follow that crap, I mean, clearly gets a lot of views. So if people really believe in that crap. And that's the content you want to watch. I don't have a problem with that. You can watch whatever the heck you want. Me, personally, I think it's a bunch of bullshit. I think it's a bunch of crap. I don't think it's going to help you in life at all. It's just a bunch of pseudo stuff where you're, you're going to be smarter than people in terms of the third eye and the dimensions. Congratulations. You're going to be that guy at the dinner table. You're going to be that guy at the kickback. And everybody else is going to be talking about normal things like what's going on in the world and politics and, I don't know, celebrity drama. And you're going to be that one weirdo. Oh, you guys need to get woke, brother. You got to unlock that third eye. Get your chakra right, brother. Buy my oils. Get get the, get the some dimensions. <laughs> like, what the heck are you talking about? It's a bunch of crap. So it, it, it already should be a red flag to you that a finance channel has these bums on here. Talking about alien space blood sucking and weird stuff. That, that's already bad. Now, let me go ahead and pull up the video. Shout out to Mark Uncultured Currency. Uh, he did send me the video. If I could find it, here it is. I'm just going to go ahead and react to it. Everything they say, I'm going to shoot it down. And also, it should tell you everything you need to know, the fact that these clowns deleted the video. But that's okay, because somebody recorded it. So here we go. Let's talk. Let's, let's, let's react to it. Off the rip, if there's anybody that has ever scammed someone or taken advantage of people or taken money from somebody and not giving them what they actually promised them, or if somebody was supposed to invest with them and they gave them money and they didn't do it and they just ran off on the money, then A, you should be ashamed and embarrassed. And B, there is okay, then what does that say about you? If they should be ashamed and embarrassed, then what should you be? Because you've had so many different scammers and clowns and grifters on your channel. First of all, you guys are grifters. Look at what you do. You overcharge for everything. You got you saw all kinds of bull crap that you overcharge for. You charge people for tickets to your trash and vest fest and EYO university seminars and all this trash. You guys are a bunch of grifters too. So it's just so funny how you would dare. It's probably why they deleted the video. They were probably looking like, wow, we're grifters too. Like, like what are we doing, dude? Like, why are we addressing this? Just ignore it. They're, 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 they're actually doing a playbook that a lot of grifters do in the finance space. What they do is, Whenever a scandal comes up, they just ignore it. That's all they do. The only way that they talk is if they're just getting so such an overwhelming amount of responses that they're kind of forced to say something, which I think is probably what happened here because this isn't even their first scandal. They've had so many scandals. I got blown up with emails from people about this whole like, I don't know, like this like ticket thing. There was like some ticket thing where they promised people that they would get like free tickets to like some event at Madison Square Garden. And they never got it and like all this other stuff. So it, it was just a lot. It was crazy. But let's let's keep watching. There is no safe haven. There is no friendship that anybody at Earn Your Leisure has for anybody that's taking advantage of anybody. And bro, y'all literally have Ian Dunlap sitting right there with you. And he literally takes advantage of people on a weekly basis. Like, what are you talking about, bro? This is the clown stuff that I'm talking about. It, it really is. It's sad. It's like, bro, you guys are a bunch of clowns. You guys, they don't even show their portfolio. So we don't even know how they're really doing in terms of investments. I mean, I I think they might have shown like some of like parts of their portfolios, like some of the stocks that they own and how much they're up, but they haven't shown like their full overall five year returns. They ain't never showed nothing like that. So I can't take people like this seriously. And these guys are the hypocrites of the year trying to make it seem like they're the good guys and, oh, the message to the scammers. Bro, y'all are literally known for being the platform of the scammers. You guys have nothing but a bunch of crooks and liars and clowns on your channel. It's just absolutely despicable. That goes for anybody that has ever been on the platform that may have done that. 
whether it's Greg, whether it's Caesar, whether it's anybody. And if they are, don't forget Ian Dunlap. You know, the guy that's sitting right there next to you. Can't forget Ian. <laughs> are innocent of doing that, then their name should be vindicated. But if they are guilty of doing that, then they should be punished and they should once again make the people whole and they should be ashamed and embarrassed for themselves. Because at the end of the day, there's no benefit for scamming somebody. There's no benefit for taking advantage of somebody. And oh, yes, there is. You guys should know very well when you scam people and you grift them and you lie to them and you make them think that you're geniuses and you can help them make money. You could do something for them in a world where like 80 percent of the entire population is struggling and can barely afford to do anything and is miserable financially. Yes, it's actually very easy to benefit from scamming and grifting and lying to people. You guys do it all the time. You guys sell people a dream that if they listen to you, they'll be able to get financial freedom and assets over liabilities. And oh my God, everybody's going to be rich and we're going to make you money and buy my course, bro, and all this foolishness. You guys do the exact same thing. So don't give me that BS saying, oh, you're not going to get any benefit from scamming. Dude, you're a liar. Stop it. Everybody in the finance industry scams. That's literally how they make money. Like that's the ultimate blueprint to make money is to scam and grift people who are too gullible, too naive, and frankly, too stupid to realize that they don't know anything about finance. They should just meet with a financial advisor and they need to get out of their head that, you know, it's possible to get rich quick. And oh, if I just put $5,000 in a penny stock, I'm going to TEDx, bro. All that foolishness. You guys notice that Ian Dunlap is literally sitting right here with them in the middle. And they have the nerve to talk about messages to scammers. What do you think this guy is right next to you? Have you guys ever checked your DMs? <laughs> Go look at your message requests. See how many of them have complaints about Ian Dunlap. From now, is going to take advantage of somebody. You don't have chat GBT in your brain to kind of predict the future, mm -hmm. right? It's like CNBC. If they bring Sam Bankman Freed on and champion him because he said that he's a wizard, they don't know that in 12 months he's going to be taken down for the biggest scam. Actually, yes, you do. It's called vetting your guest. It's called before you bring a guest on, instead of looking at how popular they are, what you do is you take the guests, you do some research on them, and then you decide from there if you want to have them on. I'm not trying to hear none of y'all BS excuses. It is so obvious to tell that half the people y'all brought on are complete scammers and clowns and liars. The fact that you couldn't see it. Well, first of all, let's be frank here. You're lying. You guys knew you just didn't care because they probably had a decent following and you're going to make money off the affiliates. Oh, uh, uh, go ahead and buy our course and subscribe to e earn your leisure university. And we're all assets over liabilities and we're bringing people to you guys and all a bunch of bull crap. Stop it for the biggest scandal possible. They don't get blamed for that. They're a media company, right? But if you really look at it, if you take a step back, when you take emotion out of things, then you have to start to use logic. So if you take emotion out of it and you say, okay, well, let's say there's five people, right? That may have been accused of doing something, right? And there's 415 episodes. What is that? That's 1%. Yeah. That's less than the that's iPhone. Less. That's less than the iPhone. Doesn't matter if it's 1%. This guy is such a clown. I don't know what this guy, I think his name is Rashad or something, but this guy is such a clown. It doesn't matter if it's 1%, you clown. If you are out here to do good things for people and you're supposed to be helping people, if you bring scammers on your platform, yes, you take the heat for it as you should. I don't care if it's 1%. I don't care if you had 415 videos and only five videos had scammers. I don't care. You caused harm to people that you're supposed to be helping. I can't watch this crap no more. This is a bunch of BS. Anyway, the bottom line is... These guys are finally getting some heat. Hopefully they get more because these guys have been clowns for a long time. I've been meaning to make a video about them at some point because I've always like I knew that they were clowns in 2021. Everybody's just waking up to it now. But I, I've been seeing it. I don't know how you couldn't have seen it. It was very obvious to see. I mean, half the time they were talking about stocks and stuff. They didn't know what they were talking about. Most of their predictions have been wrong. Uh, they have Ian Dunlap on there, who is just the cockiest, most arrogant, most piece of garbage human being I've ever seen in my life. He constantly talks down on his old audience. He's always saying stuff like, I'm the greatest investor ever. If you can't out trade me, what's the other stupid thing he says? Uh, he'd be like, it, put a one in the chat if I made you money. It's like, dude, get over you, get over yourself, you freaking clown. Put fire emojis in the chat if I made you money. Dude, you're not making anybody money. Nobody's made money. Like, everybody made money in 2021, and then they immediately lost it when the bear market came in 2022. Like, so stop the crap, man. Anyway, 
Those are my thoughts on these guys. Complete clowns. Stop watching them. Keep letting their views go down. This is great to see. By the way, not every finance channel on YouTube is going down. Most of the very reputable uh, finance channels like the Plain Bagel, Patrick Boyle, How Money Works, you know, people like that. Um, Caleb Hammer. Uh, well, he doesn't really do traditional finance. He just kind of roasts people. But uh, anyway, there are still finance channels out there that are getting a lot of views. So the fact that they're not, while other channels still are, says a lot about their credibility, who they are as people, and how their audience now perceives them. Because a lot of their 1.27 million subscribers left and no longer watches their platform. And so there you guys have it. That'll go ahead and conclude today's video. Thanks so much for watching. See you guys in the next one.